what is holding you back from achieving your goals? Have you ever struggled to succeed in business and you were wondering what was holding you back from achieving your goals? Here are the secrets to success. My name is Kath Kyle. I am the author of Stamp Goals book and I help entrepreneurs to set goals that they actually achieve. So let's dive in. So if you're anything like me, you've set so many goals in the past and you've lost count of them and most of them you haven't achieved, unfortunately. Today, I'm going to share three main reasons that goal setting hasn't worked for you and it will help you stay the course, not give up and finally achieve your goals. So the number one reason is you gave up on your goals too early. This is the number one reason why most goals are not achieved. You simply stopped working towards them and gave up. And the main reason that people give up on their goals is that they thought they failed and then they lost confidence in their ability to achieve their goals. So how do you feel when you don't achieve your goals? Do you get disappointed? Do you swear that you'll never set another goal again? Like, what's the point? Believe me, I have been there too many times. I completely gave up on goal setting for years because I just had too many disappointments. And that was until I learned the truth about goal setting and where I'd been going wrong. And today I'm going to help you recognize where you've been going wrong with goal setting so you can set more effective goals next time. And my aim today is to help you change your mindset around goal setting so you don't actually mind if you don't achieve your goals and you still see yourself as successful. So let's start by identifying what a goal actually is. So a goal is simply a thought that you had in your mind. That's it, just a thought, nothing more, nothing less. A goal is a desire to receive something into your life. It's often a random amount of money that you wish you would receive and you just pluck that number out of thin air. And you were completely in control of your thought when you set that random goal. And I want to help you realize that that same level of control of your thoughts, um, you can still have that same level of control regardless of whether you achieve your goal or not. So changing your thoughts around whether you've achieved your random goal by your self-imposed deadline makes all the difference when it comes to carrying on working towards that goal or completely giving up. Another thing that is worthwhile to point out that when you set a goal, there can only be two results. One, achievement of the goal and two, a failure to achieve the goal. It is that word that failure that drags us into a pit of despair because let's face it, who likes to fail? So instead of using the word failure, why not reframe that into a more positive statement? Something like, I'm still working towards my goals or my goals just haven't been realized yet or I'm just really curious to know whether there were signs that I'm on the right path or whether I should change my course or I've learned so much and now I need to switch my method of reaching my goal. Any of those thoughts are so much more positive and will help you continue to work towards your goal. So say, for example, that you set a goal to earn, say, $10,000 next month and this month you actually earned $100 and you want to jump from earning $100 to $10,000. And say you set that goal for $10,000 and you ended up actually earning $300. You could either choose to see that $300 as a total failure because you didn't hit your goal, or you could congratulate yourself for increasing your earnings and become excited that this means that what you are doing is working and you are still working towards your goal of 10,000. And do you, do you know that most businesses, they follow a similar pattern of growth and it starts off where you work and you work and you work and you hardly see any results at all. And then all of a sudden something just changes and your growth takes off exponentially so fast that you can't even believe it's happening and if you were to plot it on a chart it would look like a hockey stick because it just goes up so steeply 
and if you could see into the future and you knew that in just a couple of months you'd be hitting that hockey stick of growth would it motivate you to continue right now I know it would definitely motivate me it does motivate me and yes of course it would motivate you if you knew for certain that you were going to hit that growth so what you need to do is to be thankful that the hockey stick growth is inevitable for you and continue working towards your goals with the same level of enthusiasm so don't give up you will achieve your desires when businesses carry on consistently they do achieve that hockey stick level of growth number two reason is you were focused on the wrong goals for you so have you ever set a particular goal because somebody else told you it would lead to success i have done this so many times myself that i've completely lost count every time i watched a new webinar or i took a new business course i get really excited about the results the person's business model would excite me, their strategies, their tactics, they would all encourage me to do what they were doing. So I ended up changing the way I was working and I would work really, really hard on each new method. And I would always get disappointed when I either got no results or I got results for a few months until I started to see my new business model and my new previous results would start to fade away to nothing very, very quickly. And then I would totally give up. And I literally did that for years, getting so frustrated as to why nothing was working for me despite all my hard work and effort. And it took me such a long time to realize that um, we need to be setting goals that are right for us as individuals, that are right for our business and that and other people will never know what goals are right for us. So how do we know what the right goals are for us to set? We need to quiet our minds, ask questions, journal about it, find your deep desires and then listen for the intuition that comes as a result. So how do you know what intuition feels like? It feels like the urge to do something. It feels like the excitement to do something. It is taking action out of love because you are excited and inspired to do something. If you are acting out of fear, this is a sign that you are not using your intuition. So only then will you know what goals are right for, for you when you ask questions and then listen for the answers that come in the form of intuition. So the number three reason is you just set too many goals. Have you ever read a book about self-improvement that encourages you to change absolutely everything in your life? There's like some people say there are seven main life areas and other people say there are 10 and these people encourage you to set a goal to improve your finances, your work, your relationships with your spouse, your kids, your spiritual life, your fitness, your food, your health, your charitable giving and the list goes on and on and on. And I've been there and let me tell you that this does completely overwhelm you. The brain works so much harder and so much more effectively when you focus on changing one thing at a time. And this is because the brain likes to resist change and keep you safe. So when you try and change too many things at any one time, it just becomes all too much and you end up giving up on all of it. So let's start with just one goal at a time. For example, let's start with just one goal of business revenue. When you've made changes that become habits, then you can move on and set new goals for other areas of your life. And also, when you work towards achieving just one goal, it makes you feel successful, which is the fuel to drive change in other areas of your life. And let me caveat that with saying that I don't believe that just setting a revenue goal is a good solution for goal setting. I actually believe there are three goals that you should be setting at any one time, but start off with one, progress to the second, and then move to the third. Because if you just stick with st with setting revenue goals, then you will end up feeling too much pressure to achieve that particular revenue goal. And that's just too disappointing when you don't hit that revenue goal by a particular date. So have a look at my other videos where I've gone into more detail about the three goals that I recommend setting at any one time. Start with one, move to the second one, then move to the third one. I call them my three G's, my 
gratitude goal, my giving goal and my growing goal. So have a look for my other videos and check that out. So the next steps for you is that now you have got everything you need to get your mindset in the right place for success. You might be looking for the right tools to set your goals and actually achieve them. And I have a free gift for you that you're going to love. So for a limited time, I'm giving away the planner that I use to set goals for my six figure blog. So click the link below and get that free planner now. So in conclusion, just overcoming these three barriers to success will help you finally achieve your goals. Goal setting is a massive passion of, of mine and I have so many more videos to help you reach your goals. So stick around and see what else I can help you with by clicking the links below, having a look at my other videos and I would love it if you would subscribe, like this video and leave a comment. Let me know, have you ever given up on your goals before?